What do you keep in here? When was this chicken prepped? Do you have a thermometer somewhere? I am Shannon Faust, and I am one of uh, Multnomah County's uh, environmental health specialists, better known as a health inspector. The mission of our department is really just making sure that the public can enjoy the food safely and not uh, contract any to, uh, type of foodborne illnesses. In Multnomah County, we have about 3,500 restaurants that receive two inspections every year. So you never know what's coming. Uh, it sneaks up on you. One of, your, one of your kitchen guys comes and grabs you and says, the health inspector's here. We focus on an FDA checklist that looks at the high-risk items that have the highest potential for a foodborne illness. So looking at you know illness policies for staff members, making sure hot foods are hot and cold foods and cold, hand washing is being done. Has everyone felt well through the cold and flu season? What kinds of things would you prep here? What type of sanitizer are you using in your bucket? Are you careful each time someone enters that they're performing the double hand wash? Bleach rags on hand, are they on their person or do you keep them in a clean space. So any proteins in here? Has the dishwasher ran today? Somebody testing chemicals daily? Everyone knows reheating needs to hit one for 15 seconds. Yeah. Perfect. We have three violations that we can cite during the inspection. A priority violation would be you're not cooking your food to the right temperature. A priority foundation item is you're cooking your turkey to 165 degrees, but you have no way of verifying it, so you don't have a thermometer. And then the core violations are, you know, the dirty floors, walls, and ceilings, things that are not going to be in contact with food, more of the cosmetic things. Priority violation is five points, priority foundation is three points, and a core has no point value. It's on a 100-point scale, and a fail to comply is anywhere below 70. What was the final score? 100.